Hello and welcome back to the Sunday special episode of the You Up podcast. I'm Jordana Abraham. And I'm Jared Freed. Uh, a very special Sunday special. We're joined by two uh, amazing guests. Uh, Long time ba- uh, favorites of, yeah, the, of the pod. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Rain and Ashley from Girls Gotta Eat. Thank you guys for coming back. Thanks We're for so having happy us. to be here. Yeah, um, they got shows all over the country, 11 shows leading into the holidays. Mm-hmm. Go to girlsgottoeat.com and go get tickies. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like you guys moved to L.A. and now you're way blonder is, than is the last a, time I saw you. Are you not? Is it younger, you are. Or younger, yes. blonder, <laughs> Potter, Botox, yeah. We more. can't talk about hair color <laughs> without bringing up Extension, extension Gate. gate. <laughs> I, I saw it on the internet. <laughs> Uh, Raina got extensions and they didn't match. The the carpet didn't match the carpet. No, here's what happened. I had hair extensions that are clipped in. My hair was like honey colored and then I dyed my regular hair. I bleached it really blonde, but I didn't have time to swap out the extensions. So I had bleach blonde hair with honey colored extensions and my best friend didn't mention it before we recorded that day. And people were like, that is not your friend, not your sis. Friend. Wow. So I, in my defense, I showed up to her house and she w- seemed really happy. She was just like, right. I didn't want to ruin the, the sun, box. and she seemed like so upbeat. Like she's this like she was like I'm in such a good mood today, and I was like, it's not. <laughs> did you she notice did right you away? Notice? Did you yeah. notice right no, away? And I, Rainy will even tell you it looked worse. The camera like, added it what ten <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jared's bit. So. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I just was like, Raina's going to rain it. Like, I, I certainly wasn't sitting there thinking because I did just help her out just now. The track was showing. But it's turned into this thing of Raina with the extensions. Well, I got I to ask because, you know, I think we're lucky because of the, you know, the male-female relationship. No one really dissects our friendship. No, no one. No, no one's right. like, do no, they? Are they cool? Friend. Right, right. So good true. friend, bad yeah. friend. I'm just yeah. a dude who's an idiot who wouldn't notice. When you guys have your, fr- is it weird to have your friendship dissect? Because if if someone made fun of, if a friend of mine was like, your hair is fucked up, like it's a friend. I understand where you can make fun of. People and, wouldn't say right. that about you guys. Well, that's what they I'm just telling you what happened girls. is like mm. I posted I, this this carousel from we went to Paris and the, it was like you know cute pictures and the last one was this close up of Reina. We were at a wine bar and the, her track was sticking out of her ponytail <laughs> and obviously I had already I before I posted it was like are you okay with this and she was mm. almost like damn it I would have posted that like almost like her if she was I like she would have put she it on liked her feet. It. I was yeah. like. She I liked yeah. Collab me. I post it and I get it, just one DM, but like, you are so mean to Raina. Mm. Everyone talks about it. <laughs> and my favorite line was, What if she did that to you? And I'm like, She's tagged in it. You think Raina was like, She's like, I'm not going to see this in two seconds. Right. I think it's nice that you showed it to her. I feel like, um, I mean, have you, would you, has anyone ever showed you a picture for approval before they put it up? Absolutely no not. No man has ever been shown. <laughs> right. A yeah. picture of it. Look at all these boyfriends, how horrific they look. Literally <laughs> never shown Mike any picture yeah. at all. Sometimes yeah. he looks at it, he's like, oh, my eyes are completely closed. I'm like, who cares what you look like? Yeah. So I always say when people say this kind of stuff, uh, it's more insulting to me because it's as though I have no agency in this friendship. <laughs> yeah. And so right. I'm scared to be like, please don't post that picture of me looking terrible. <laughs> like we were on a 12 day trip. We had to be together the whole time. Yeah. It's as though I can't stick up for myself and be like, right. please don't put this on the internet. And I think that people over personalize things and that's where it's coming from that yeah. like the person mm-hmm. who sent that is somebody who feels bullied by people in their life and <laughs> yeah, they can't right. say things or stick up for themselves yeah. and so they they over personalize this they're it was projecting also Raina was the first yeah. comment issue. i pinned it you know <laughs> right. also like, she's in there she's in on the right. joke <laughs> yes. yeah like this is crazy you're not in on the joke you're right <laughs> and and you kind of like there's a moment where you go oh maybe you don't have friendships that are as close as this you yeah, know you, the, don't understand, you don't get right. it you, you say this right. all the time like no matter what it is you just don't get it you mm. know like if we're roasting each other making fun of each other someone's like <gasps> clutching their pearls yeah. it's like it, if you're not roasting your friends you what who, what is what is your life how honest are you being with your friends yeah you know? i mean Elaine and sammy and i get that one on the ad batches podcast oh, yeah. we sure. disagree and we're like fighting over like whether you know taylor swift if her out al- like her albums or something like that and people are like why do you guys hate each other it's like right. no or it's like a healthy <laughs> yeah, I own this company. Right. Yeah. i'll edit this out if i don't want it right. in here <laughs> yeah we thought right. it was weird we it would be gone <laughs> yeah. I, well right. talk about agency i used to get messages like oh jared you never let jordana talk i'm like i'm doing we're doing the show at her right. office so you think i would say i something. think she can say yeah, something. yeah like right. she'd be like shut the fuck up if she had a real issue yeah you know like i think she'll be okay you Jordan, know are you okay i think i feel like your voice you know i feel like it's the person with a louder voice yeah. people hear right. 
this like if you're loud right like, it's, almost it's, like well, the... it's like tall guy looks aggressive <laughs> yeah. you know loud guy talk too much Ashley's you know? taller than like... me so people are like Raina's little she can't defend herself yeah <laughs> so you Ashley you have a boyfriend now <laughs> okay <laughs> Listen, we're yeah. laughing because we were on the CBS morning show this morning. Gail King, who was so wonderful, we had so much fun. She opens this segment. She goes, "So Ashley, you have a boyfriend, and right. Raina, you don't." Single as fuck. <laughs> no. Is that is that weird though for your like dynamic of hosting this show that one of you is in a relationship and one of you is? And I know like it's been flipped before, yeah, it's right? Been flipped yeah. Before. Oh, and I think it's great for the show, and I think it's great for our listeners. Mm -hmm. I think that like not everybody's going to relate to two single girls, but it's mm -hmm. nice to have like the diversity. Um, on that's the what makes right. us diverse. That's right. <laughs> that's that's right. I've always thought of you guys. That's, that's, that's our diversity. That's yes. all we can do. I have a boyfriend. I've, I've gone the down most on some diverse podcasts on the internet. I've always thought of you guys that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went. I went down on some girls before. I've got hooked up with women, and Ashley got a boyfriend. So okay. Diversify. You hooked up with a woman. Is that what happens when you go to LA? Like no, this is <laughs> ayahuasca and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on men, but in the back in the day, yes, women. But but let's let's discuss that because I think you guys have a relatively unique experience of having dated in New York and dated in LA. And I mean, I'm sure you guys, when you're on tour, also see this. Every, see this. Every city thinks that they're the worst city to date in, and you guys actually have some context for that. So, do you think one is worse or better than the other? I, I do actually feel like we have so much context. We used to talk to people at the shows, send in, describe your dating scene in every city. Like, I really have something to say about every city. But, yeah, obviously we can speak on New York and L.A. the most. <sighs> They're different in their own way. I think that New York, you really do tend to feel – I think you can get to the date a little easier. I think mm -hmm. there's a little less of the flakiness. I think most – you hear less bailing. You can get to that first date. I think past that gets tricky, and I think that – Women tend to say they feel a little more disposable in New York. They, the men are a little bit more the next best thing syndrome. L.A., you just hear a lot of flakiness, weirdo. Weirdo. Okay. So they show up like... to the date in New York and then they I, dump I you. I think they show right. up a little like... more. I, I never had a problem <laughs> okay. getting a date in New York. I never right. had yeah. this like, I, for me personally, it wasn't like a we're in the, the app forever. Like it just seemed like people were like, let's fucking get it going. You know, right. let's, right. let's meet. We, you, you, we live in the same neighborhood or it's easy to walk and get around LA. You know, you're across town. You, you know, we hear friends always just like an hour before someone bails. They don't feel like going across town. And I think people have it a little more. Forever, like, right? Someone's like, I, I yeah. just need to protect my energy tonight. You know, like I can't go on a date, you know. So I think that the, the, <laughs> the issues are a little different. Yeah. I would say it. I felt a little like traumatized by dating in New York for six years. Like okay. I got to LA and I, I now, you know, I have a boyfriend now, but I dated and I <laughs> Well, felt, he doesn't live in LA. Yeah. He lives in Boston. So then I got so far from like, I actually don't want to date in LA. I'm going new England. I'm like oh, right. even more North. So it's not even either for what me. What was I guess, the worst LA dating experience? Like well, I had one two days ago. Two days. Oh, two days. <laughs> um, so you're going to think this is crazy. I went on my first You've had ever worse. hinge date. First ever. First ever. <laughs> what? How did that happen? Have you ever? Hinge has been I around. Mean, you've been on, you've been <laughs> on other. Apps. They're a partner. I don't do dating apps. I don't do it. It's just it's not for me. I'm okay. really fortunate that first I am just. Ever. You've never been. This, but this is your first hinge date dating or, app or date. dating app. It was your first dating app. Right, this is when Jerry this is when Gail done. King is like, but how old are you? Okay. Lower third, thirty-seven. <laughs> I also want to say, never been on hinge. Raina did date someone who we met because we did live Bumble at the show, and mm. he came down to the venue, and she did date him. So that was that. technically that, but okay, for traditional. Some, he came down for somebody else. Um, I am really fortunate that we have um, the type of lives where we're just out a lot. We're on yeah. the road. We meet people. Well, you've said that. We interview yeah. people. We go out a lot. We're really social. So I do not live in a world where I'm just in my home and I'm like, how will I ever find him? And not even on the couch. I just, it's not for me. And I really like meeting okay. people in the wild. Everybody I've ever dated has been in the wild. I'm hold, good at it. Hold on. This should speak to the point that you guys were just talking about. The, the LA versus New York. Mm -hmm. You're someone who's never been on a hinge date. You don't have to in New York as much because you can literally walk downstairs from your apartment. There's 50 bars to choose the, from and go meet men in there. This should tell you the difference that LA to get out of the house it's and to see people. I notice that when I'm in LA, it's like everyone kind of hangs in these like familiar pods. Mm -hmm. They're not like just, I'll go to the bar. I'll be right. out amongst totally. others. So you, this is Clickier. a remedy. Yes. And I live mm -hmm. right behind Abbott Kinney. I live really close to a lot of bars and restaurants and I still, I could, I could see not one soul for a week. I'd be perfectly mm. happy. So, um, I had to turn to this. 
to Okay, so you turn to your friend Hinge that you've never you've known but never really hung out with. Yeah, who pays? And, and who you meet someone two days ago, you want a date? Have I you went been in. on the apps, you just haven't gone on a date. I've assume, seen right? dating apps. I've okay. like I've been on them. them. Okay. I've seen I've them. Heard, I've heard of them. <laughs> you've like, Rana, are you eighty two? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've I've seen these things called machines. <laughs> we're we're you read about them in a history the book. Right. <laughs> Seen them? What are you, the married woman living in Columbus that doesn't under? Can I play with it? I will say, Rain and I moved to LA and we did start using TaskRabbit as a dating app, which did work. Okay, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it to men. That could be a uh, seen as like getting yourself in trouble. That's true. (laughs) He hired me and then just kept approaching me. You know what? I'll walk it back, but it worked out for us. Because okay. yeah. no, they're all actors and models it's slash different. handymen. It's, yeah. like a, it's right. a porn fantasy in your home. So mm. hot. They're anyway. all so hot. But, but, but I really would clutch in... that hammer really tightly. I feel like I've given really good advice about dating apps on our show, but it's mostly Ashley or Jared. You did a whole episode about dating apps with us. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. I'm not usually the one. I'm not claiming to be an expert at it. Here's my mistake. I just found like a tall, bald guy with a beard. And I was like, that's my type. And I was like, him, that's the one I'll go out with. And I didn't spend a lot of time talking to him or mining right. information okay. i was just like like but a crazy person i was like let's just go you're saying on on hinge yeah i okay. think if i were to do it again i would spend like i would have five more sentences of conversation with the so person. what happened well what was the yeah what was the issue um he first of all i was immediately like my guard was up he showed up drunk hammered okay. hammered drunk like red in the face mm. like could tell his like, speech was a little slurred yes did he uber there how oh, did he, he drove oh wow okay. um and i immediately was just like guard up this feels like not great and i'm like in my head i'm like i'm not going to tell this person anything about myself i don't want him mm. to know who i am right he started making weird comments about women's bodies he called the bartender ugly he oh said God. that taylor right. swift is a little big for his day what? Come on, what? <laughs> this was like three minutes into the day. Like some mild racism. Like okay. just really well, it's red like flag the, the, like stuff. horrific Mad Libs. Well, this, He's like went through well, in three here, minutes. Here's a good I like a um, real life example. We've had an email about that of someone writing like, "How long do I have to stay?" when I know that it's there's no vibe. And how, mm. how long did you stay? I waited for him to finish his beer, and okay. I, I left. And That's I offered to split the check, and he got right. a little weird and aggro with me about that, too. He was like, women only do this when they don't want to see you again. Yeah. And, this like, and I was well, like, I'm he just said like, that, well, yeah. <laughs> He knows <laughs> the rules. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, he wasn't That's stupid. That's the ultimate friend yeah. zone. Right. I'm going to split That's it. That's true. Yeah. It's like, you really have to hate someone to really to split the check. Yeah. Yeah. Split yeah. the check for one drink. One drink was probably like a $10 a ten dollar drink. Know, that's um, so funny. You that's funny. My mom says that because my mom's been engaged like eight times, and <laughs> she's always been like, "I've never hated anyone enough to give back the ring." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's so I'll, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, what's interesting about what you're saying, and it reveals a lot about, like, I think women go on way more worse dates, bad dates than men. I totally agree. I was talking to my friends about this after. Yes. Well, because this is a bad date, and you said something very specific in the beginning. You're like, he's got the look. That's enough for me. (laughs) You know, that, and and it goes back to, like, half the boxes are checked. Whatever else happens, happens. Here's the thing, and I think there's the difference why they go on a bad date, because a man will have sex with someone who he thinks is hot, but is um but is like deplorable to him in all other ways and i don't Fair. think a woman will do that as often absolutely not so that that plays into it and i also <laughs> don't think men will leave the house until they're totally sure that's why you get like a lot of weird questions on the apps so if like a guy's like looking for just sex you say if it went another five sentences you might have gotten to hey what do you think of big old taylor swift yeah. and you would have been like what the totally. fuck is this also i wonder what you guys think about this my feeling is that women are better at like keeping their craziness contained in a box we know how to act in public on a first and second date whereas like every woman i know has these crazy first date stories of like mm. really bad behavior really wild insane behavior from a man and i don't hear it as much from my guy friends that they have like a slew of stories of women at women well acting, that's know, because it takes a minute yeah. for us to crazy to come out well i also <laughs> think like guys you know don't need to feel like they gotta trust you like you know we're not afraid of murder right so to speak so you're coming in creeping and we're coming in wild animal (laughs) boar Right, just because right. we're there's no fear there's no like hey you might get murdered on this date right. in your head or I feel think unsafe or uncomfortable right. at the at the least but right i mean I, I still don't 
like subscribe to this like you need to get a bunch of info from him. like you should assume that it's a decent person he lives in like this liberal state and you he did write something that seemed very normal very nice remember okay. that long it was a little long long-winded really but, long. like I wait read he, us the message yeah, yeah. well i want to see this long i don't give away so, too much but basically i wrote on my dating profile because i thought this would like get a bunch of people because okay. i was like i just moved to la i'm looking for a tour guide and I okay, thought I like that, that like it's okay. a good opening. Somebody could be like, I know LA really well. What do you like to do? I'll show you some cool stuff. Um, even though I moved there 10 months ago, I just thought it was like a really good opening. It's a great, it's enough. A great prompt. Yeah. And then he said, um, I think from my end that you're inviting, you know, the, the lion to the. Why is that? Uh, it's showing, hey, I'm naive. Please help me. Oh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't mind that. Damsel, I, damsel, damsel in distress. Cause you're right, damsel, but I'm saying like that, you're going to get the guy who's like, oh, maybe, okay, new to town, not looking for anything serious right away, good. I don't know, there's a little bit of like, huh. you, you, I'm just saying, the, the, listen, we always say, you know, it's going to rain, we're just going to give you an umbrella. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You know, like, but I just think like when I see that new to LA, I need a tour guide, it's like, a little bit of me goes, Ugh, I don't want to fucking show this person around. Like I gotta fight. Yeah. Or a little bit of me goes, Oh, I have some. I know kind of the ins and outs of this area, and I can maybe take advantage of that situation. Okay, but I know that you can't. So, like, I know I'm gonna get there and be like, surprise. <laughs> I'm a better tour guide than you are. I see what you're saying, though. But I'm just saying that you're gonna yeah. get like aggro, dude. Mm. You know, I'm saying like whether you. I'm not saying you will be taken advantage of in that way. I just uh -huh. think that guy coming in hot. Uh -huh. You know, there's like, I don't know. It's like leaving LA in two weeks. Just got here two weeks yeah. ago. Both in the same scenario. Both have the same douchebag approach. Well, can I have you ask you a question from a guy's standpoint? If I would see that on a dating app, I would think that person is certainly not looking for a relationship. I think you said that. Do you feel like that? Right. Is, oh, I'm like they just moved to town. They're just getting their feet wet. They're going to be going on date after date after date. I wouldn't see that as like a person that is ready to settle down in this new city, especially in a city like New York or L.A. Would you think that about? I would think it's an out for me. Yeah. I can always say, you know, you know, oh. you can speak for her. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, oh, you're new here. You know, you want to meet other people. <laughs> you know, uh, don't you want to blow a bunch of dudes. Don't yourself down. Right. right. But his response was like borderline corny it was but it was nice it was he, nice he said i'd like to be your tour guide so it qualifies you for the position and he sent a full filled my full phone with a response and it was oh, like wow. corny nice okay. i was okay. all, i was worried he was gonna be too corny that's what yeah. i thought yes well he was probably hammered just wrote out this, <laughs> a whole long thing yeah it was a lot it was and so i stayed for one drink he didn't I, I was sort of mad at myself I even stayed that long, but I just mm. felt like I wanted to placate this person. Nice. He was yeah. like a little much. I didn't want to start a fight. And honestly, mm. offering to split the check started a fight. So I'm glad I didn't get up and be like, I don't like you and I'm leaving. Right. Anything check related that bothers a dude, I think you can pretty much know that there's something off. I think like totally. the minute you get weird about the check, like men, money, power, you know, I, I think that's like a big kind of clue into uh, what you can expect on everything yeah. you know so would you go, would you go on another with him? Him? him no not him, not, <laughs> not him but would you do you feel like scared off the apps i don't feel what? scared off the apps i just i feel like that's what's going to happen when you get a giant pool of people some of them are going to be right. shitty right. and i think that it is a job you know i just think that you have to like commit to it and go on a bunch of dates and a bunch of them are going to be shitty and i had a really good day that day like i had dinner with our friends and then i went out for drinks with this guy and so i still had like a great day Mm -hmm. I like that. Same. And this was just like an hour of my time. Well, I right. like the idea of putting a date on the other side of a dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's a great way to go because now the whole makeup got ready for this one person. You've totally. given them too much power. Totally. Like yeah. if you can say, well, okay, let me go out with my friends and then I'll be in this area. Not as much pressure on it, too. Right. right. Yeah. It's a totally different thing, totally different vibe. I love it's that. It's so funny you say makeup. Like, you know women too well at this point. Because right. that's how we think. We're like, an outfit? Right. We well, wasted an outfit and a contour yes. for this? <laughs> and in so, LA, like you said, honestly, you're driving. I'm not right. making that up. Like, we really think about that. You're totally. stomping home. You're like, I can't believe it. Like, yeah. right. you know, totally. I got ready for this. It's like, I took my out the curler. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now you've diversified the funds amongst <laughs> your friends and this whatever yeah, dude I, I think there's like something to that For me, yeah. there is some feeling i of course when you come home from dates like this when you're just like i feel so alone in the world like mm. this is what mm. i have to do mm -hmm. and like this is the kind of thing i have to weed through to like get to the good stuff and I, it felt better knowing like i had this great day with people that i love right. that you know it doesn't feel bad at the end of the day i had a feel that's not gendered also 
I've had dates where I've gotten done with it and been like, and I remember, I, I remember feeling like I was in this like this painting of New York, lonely dude going across the street to the <laughs> other bar to have like a debrief with myself mm -hmm. uh -huh. where you go and like have that drink after the drinks to go, what just happened? Yeah, there? right. And then you have that moment of like, Oh, I gotta go out with these people. I gotta go meet these losers. <laughs> like, why am I here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough already. Yeah. A bad day can bring you down. Like, you, you get, break you. You give it too much weight sometimes. Right. That's why right. the dinner's well, so good. It's like yeah. such a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Great. You guys can have it. Well, we gotta give it a name. The pickleback. You know, like, the pickleback <laughs> has, uh, you know, the shot of whiskey yeah. with the pickleback shot. Uh, you know, what is this? Uh, the date yeah. pack? We gotta give it a name. I think there's a good naming opportunity here. Right. Like, the chaser? The yeah, chaser, chaser, right? But I would prefer the date prior to the dinner because then if you can debrief with your friends. So if I decide it's pre- Pre drink. Remember, I went out with that teacher, and then he walked me to the stand, and I was like, I don't. Wanna, he was just not attractive, and he was just so schlubby, and he like he was going the same way as me. So he walked. A teacher, yeah, that, that's love, against my religion. I, I love teachers. <laughs> really? Jared, 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 Jared hates we education. Are, Ashley, I hate um, education. Mom's a teacher. <laughs> hate heroes. No, we love teachers. We do everything for teachers. Yeah. We know you hate. He them. burns no, 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 books no. just because they're books. Yeah. That's right. Because, but he, yeah. he walks me to. I'm like the most interesting man. I'm the biggest <laughs> asshole in America. I burn books just for the love of it. Yeah. Um. So this fucking loser teacher. No, yeah. He um. <laughs> could you could, could you imagine um choosing that profession? He uh wa walks me to the stand. I just didn't want anybody to see him. Like you want anyone to see him? <laughs> and, and, this Jared, is... come on, it's all comedians. I and agree. I'm on a date. So he walks me, and I was like, oh, here I am, and I like got a rush. Here, like, here I am. And, <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, here, I gotta go in. Bye, I got a set, yeah. and I did have a set, but like. Sure like your enough. mom dropping off for school. Here, okay, go. Here I am should be the universal code for like, please don't try to kiss me. Here yeah. I am. I, was like, I, I know. I'm like, it's 7 p.m. I'm like, I'm late for my spot. So I like scurry in and Aaron Berg comes up to me. He was like, were you on a date? And I was like, don't worry about what you just saw. And he was like, okay. And he gets up on stage and just roasts me and this guy that he saw for 30 seconds. And so he saw set, him. He saw him and he was like, who the fuck was that guy? And he roasts me in his set. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's so him. I that, was, it was so funny. You just look out the window. The guy's waiting there with like a flower that's turned over. <laughs> Big schlub. <laughs> just Mr. Ugly oh outside. That's so me. <laughs> that's like a Taylor Swift video. Waiting right. To happen. Yeah. But anyway, yes, we love our this teachers. This is his origin we really, tale. <laughs> we really respect the profession. They're severely underpaid. And we really just, you know, I thought it was cute. He was a science teacher. You better teacher. post his list. Of things he cut I just know why you feel so I many lists. I fulfilled his Amazon wish his Amazon wish list. Take care of the whole thing. That's coming from yes, there. I, I got the crayons. Right. But where did where did you meet your boyfriend? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I've been saying it a show, but he had DM'd me before that. But we technically he slid into the DMs, and then we okay. technically met at a Girls Got Eat show two years ago. Well, so the listeners are always wondering how to slide. How did this guy slide into the DMs? I've never said this. Uh, I'll say it. You, uh, know, you could be a, a you up exclusive. I've never this you up exclusive. Take that, Gail King. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> We're also on a view tomorrow. Take that, this Joy. Is, I've never even said this on our show. That his first text to me in early 2021 said, "Oh my God, date me." Oh, oh my, my God! God Dave. Open he doesn't propose to you with that DM saying, "Oh my God, marry me! I will never recover." <laughs> right? And it He's was like, stay on brand. It was in response to like me being, like you know, being not thirst trap, but like me. It was a response to a story of me being like pretty, like okay. So it was a response to a story. A response to okay. a story of me being like, I think I just got my nose done. I was feeling myself. Right. I had like my Ivy Park on, like whatever. I was just doing like a. I think it was like a boomerang in the mirror showed right. a little like, you know, a picture sexy. you knew you look good and he was acknowledging. Did he, yeah. you did he look have good. an open profile? No. Okay. So I, I'm mm. scroll I'm you know, I'm zooming in, I'm like, he I can tell he's a good looking guy, but I know nothing else. How could you tell the picture so small? You can tell. Okay. Well you can <laughs> so you can screenshot he's got the new he's, technology he's, of like the, <laughs> the, on yeah. the uh, He's got a distinctive look. I, I could okay. tell. He's got a vibe. Okay. Um and but I was like, I, who is this? I left, didn't even acknowledge it. Right. You know, I was like, I don't know. Okay. That's flattering. You know, it doesn't look like a troll, but okay. But you didn't follow him. No. No, uh, right. I was just like, you know, That'd this happens insane. all the time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just another day. <laughs> right. Just yeah. another day of being out 12. Yeah. Um, so I think he slid in like one more time, you know, and I was just like, I don't know. And I think he just, you know, he had a thing for me. It was like flirting. And then he came to the show. Um, 
And then he introduced himself at the show or he told you he was coming to the show? <laughs> he, <laughs> we asked for like emails, like crowdsource to like roast people and their friends and right. their friend group. His best girlfriend wrote in and she was like, I'm coming to the show. Um, she was like a big, super like girls got to eat fan. I'm coming to the show. Me and my husband, our best guy friend, who is my now boyfriend mm -hmm. and and he has a crush on Ashley and his girlfriend. And we were like, and his girlfriend. Interesting. And his girl. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it almost like. Little did that like, girlfriend know. Taylor Strecker put it best where she, <laughs> she was kind of like, she was like, you're kind of like his hall pass. That's interesting. You know what I mean? And my joke about it is like, I'm pretty accessible. <laughs> like I'm not Beyonce up here. You know, we're at the Wilbur. It's not right. that deep. You can but, stand up and yell to me. Yeah. But you know, we, so we crowd worked a little bit. We, you know, joked around and stuff like that. But we also wanted to be respectful to the fact that he had his partner there. You you know, we're like girl right. power. This wasn't like, I'm going to fuck your, your man, you know? Right. So it was, it was just, an open we, joke. We made it funny. Yeah. Um, and that was that. I mean, I they eventually did break up, but it wasn't this thing that we were, I don't know. If you we didn't were, like Ariana Grand, Grande him. Yeah, it thing. was like that, that. This was years ago. Yeah, this yeah. is, yeah. yeah. And so, right. you know, they, they did eventually break up and he was just, he, we DM'd mutually back and forth over the years, just like flirty stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I, not all the time. When did you follow like occasionally. him? Occasionally. When we started dating. When he met our family. Really? So, <laughs> so, the, so the flirting was going on independent of you seeing kind of his Instagram life, so to speak. Oh, interesting. Well, but, that, but by now I've met him in person. <laughs> So okay. it's like sure. that's a whole new level. Like I yeah. knew what he like once I met him in person, and then you know realized he was like single. I was just like I'll engage with him a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think he was always private. I, it wasn't like uh, I got to get in there. I'm just saying this is there's a difference here. Like I'm okay. I'm thinking of like how I would play it, and you know you meet someone in person. Okay, let me also go see what their life looks like digitally. Yeah. You know, okay. like I, I, it is. He's not a big poster. Sure, but yeah. even so, so like right. he I, been. right? <laughs> I <think laughs> that, yeah, knew, made, that was the draw. You know, right. you knew where he worked. You knew what he did for a living. Yeah, and I think that we've literally met, we we met him. We saw his friends. Mm -hmm. He has like good long term friends yeah. that are you know like, I think you knew enough. Well, I wasn't. I just I wasn't thinking about. I, I was just like I wasn't thinking about this person. This was two years. Like I wasn't right. thinking right. this person was. I, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't, I'm like so in love with him now. So I like want to tread carefully, but like, yeah. I wasn't mm. thinking like about him all the time. And we weren't talking all the time. It was just here and there. He's responding to stories. He's being flirty. He's being cute, mm. whatever. But we go back to Boston in May this past year. Mm -hmm. And I just messaged him. And was, I was there. Yes. Oh, Jared. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, I was there. Jared, Good luck, Jared. Jared. Yeah, that's right. I met him. So I was just like, what's up with Guy's that guy? Guy's got height. Good looking dude. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, you know, like on tour, I'm like horny. What's up? You know, like wonder if that guy's still interested. Yeah. Mm. So I just messaged him and he, we went out that night after the show. He came to the, came to the, um, like the green room after the show. It's I kind remember. of amazing that he like manifested this relationship with you. I, yeah. You know, it's very funny that you say that. Cause I feel like it's the most mutual like manifestation of all time because yes, of course I feel like he, you know, had more about had you. this like, <laughs> you know, crush for lack of a better word. It's not this guy. This guy's like got us got a life he dates all the time it wasn't like he was pining over me i think he thought i was like cool and cute and whatever right. but i i decided early this year i was like i want to be with somebody this year i want a partner and i had this feeling i even said it in like a tarot reading early in the air so i can like run the tape that like i was like i have this feeling i'm gonna find somebody like right, tarot be reading. right before i that's okay. very la yes. <laughs> i really strongly believe in tarot i just love that you got to la you're like bring on you know the you psychics have a tarot no we were it into tarot we were into tarot way okay. before yeah. the way before. Brought, was like, bring on the pussy tarot. <laughs> my tarot reader predicted our whole business it's yeah. crazy she's oh, great really? okay. she's here in new york can i get her number she okay. like, yeah her, she's, a shop, she's yeah. a shop called modern mystic it's like in no no lead you know my crystal girl now. you are yeah. right? there's tons of crystals there <laughs> right. sex rocks whatever so anyway i'll wrap this up but i i was like i feel like i'm gonna meet somebody right before my birthday i was turning 40 and i was like having some feelings about it which we talked about in our show and like sure enough i mean mm. you know may july like the it was like july 8th it's the day before my birthday and that's when we like you know had this conversation we were on vacation with all my friends of like now we're you know it's official we're committed we're this we're that we're talking about do we you know how we feel in marriage kids all the things oh, like wow. i was like i can't i really manifested this yeah. like mm. so did he i don't know it's just kind of a, a mutual special story that's awesome yeah, yeah that's very cool so when do you bring this guy to reina like do you get <laughs> you know reina do you I get actually kind of met him before her because when we were talking to him at the show i i started engaging with him first 
Yeah, Raina met him the, the night I met him. Right. The night, you know? She met him. And then he was there the night, obviously, with you in yeah. the green room um, after the show. And um, he came on her birthday trip. Mm-hmm. Oh, he came. He definitely uh, did. He, 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 did. <laughs> he came inside. Um, no, but I, I just think it like he's a little bit of a slow burn, and I he's not really in your face, and he's I, I just he's a kind of a harder like shell to crack, I think. But he's like the kindest, sweetest, most thoughtful guy. But I feel like him and Raina more recently have just like totally bonded and now we're in the group chat and they're like mm. really have their own separate relationship yeah well i mean not behind her back she's in part of the group chat too but um <laughs> he's um, talking about the bus he right. came on this group trip with all of our friends like ashley's oldest friends um there was like 12 of us on this trip and him and i think that takes like so much balls to fly across the country yeah. with a new girl and it is my worst nightmare to be in a group of people everyone knows each other i know nobody and i'm the new girlfriend in town like mm. that is so nerve-wracking to me and like i think that takes big balls to do that an element of holding your own i think everyone yes. like is everyone attracted that, to that yeah. right it, yeah it is and can you like you know we were just with my family this past weekend at my nephew's birthday and you know i knew i could there was a million people there at this you know kid's birthday party all my family cousins mm-hmm. and whatever and i just knew i could like leave him to mm. talk to people not feel like a babysit that's something like guys say about a girlfriend that always sounds bad but it, i think everyone wants that why? Like why just, does it sound they bad? don't have to like, watch I, I, them. It, yeah. yeah, like it, it always comes off. I think it can, can sound bad. Like the I can leave her alone. I don't gonna watch that bitch. You know, mm-hmm. like it's like I don't think it sounds bad at all. I think I, we all want that. And that's I think we're yeah we all want that at a right. certain point. You know. Yes, I think it's really important, and it's really like a non-negotiable, especially as you get older, to have a partner that your friends like, that your family likes, that people respect. Sure. I mean, I joke that like if I didn't like her partner, it would be like a horrible situation, and yes, yeah. it would. But I can't imagine her picking anybody that I didn't like, and vice versa. I just. Mm. My last year's relationship, like it was so important to me that he was kind to her and liked her and that they got along. And I can't imagine it's a part world. of the process. Well, I feel yeah. like people usually date people that their friends hate when they're like super young. Totally. Because they don't really know themselves yet. But I feel like the yeah. older you get, the more you're like picking someone who actually is more of a match for you. Uh-huh. And maybe like because your friends like you, they're more likely to like your partner. And you're putting up with less. Like when right. you're younger, you're in those volatile relationships. Your yeah. friends start to, if they don't necessarily hate the guy, they hate what he's done to you. Right. Uh-huh. You know, and, and they you're hate putting up with more And when, also so. when you're younger, you share everything. You know, you have no filter. Like you share all the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think as you get older, you reel it in a little bit. You're like, I don't need to... I can handle this internally. I don't need to share every, you know, small conflict. And so my friends and family think we're just this shitty, unhealthy couple. I don't know. So I wanted to talk about, you know, dating with with you guys and and dating when you don't want kids specifically and like how you find it, like dating with it is when do you disclose that do you find people have issues with it or like what has been your experience dating it's been really like positive i say like the last two serious relationships i've had i was in i mentioned it on the first date and they were both like i don't want kids and i was like great um just ashley is really and she can speak for herself but really doesn't want them but i i can see a world where like two percent of me could be like convinced to do it i probably don't really want kids but like i could see a world in which i meet somebody and i'm like i would i would like to do this with you as you're a like team. it's not mm. completely out of the question it's for mostly you. i mean i'm also getting older so it's becoming more out of the question but yes it's not really how i see my life it doesn't really sound like that much fun to me to be honest right. but um i bring it up right away and I, I i don't bring up the like maybe like i want you to date me as though i'm not going to have children right. and that maybe i'll change my mind that's fine for you to think that that's on the table but i want you to date me as though i won't change my mind and i'm finding more and more men that i go out with over the years are super either open to it already don't want kids or say you know i I, if my partner wanted them i'd want them but if my partner didn't be fine with me right Mm -hmm. take it or leave it how do you say it on the first date I always say just, I, I bring up some form of like, where do you see your life in a few years? Do you want to stay in New York? Do you want to stay in LA? Like, and usually people's questions, answers will be informed by mm-hmm. where they want to raise children. Mm. Okay. And if they don't bring that up at all, you just go. Then I go, I don't really want children. How about you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't no, know. I've I mean, never I, run into it. It's, it's really, no. that question really sums it up. People I, always ask me and I'm like, I just, I, it just comes out. Cause it, right. you know, we, we joke that people, one time like cr- criticized me and like not wanting kids is a part of Ashley's personality. And it's like, well, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> yeah, right. you yeah, know, yeah. just like being a mother or wanting to be a mother is part of your personality. So right. I, it just, it comes up. 
I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's like I had this fear that I would meet somebody and fall in love and they would really want children so badly. I mean, you know, I was doing my best when I was on the apps to vet it. You know, if it's if their hinge did say they want children, I'm like hard pass. Why would I even go down this road if it was important enough for them to put it on their profile? Right. Then that means they really do. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't even entertain it. And so. I want to get out of the way quick. I don't want to fall for somebody or even start to look at them as a potential long-term partner. Right. The conversation is way more natural than the question that gets asked of you, I'm sure. like, Because, mm -hmm. like, how do you bring it on a first date? That's probably someone fearing that, you know, how do I bring this up? When really, if you're on a good date, on a good conversation... These things can right. come up easily. I think people have this fear. I totally agree. Yeah. This fear of like, oh, I'm wasting my time by going on a date with someone who might not have the exa exact same wants as I do. But mm. I'm sure you guys have come across, I'm sure you've come across people who do want kids and you find that out on a first date and it's not like, oh, you've wasted years of your life. Yeah. That, <laughs> right? that fireman I went out with, I, yeah, it was like, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It was like kind of when I was just getting back into the dating post COVID, you know, I just wanted to go on dates. I hadn't. I, we didn't end up fucking, but I hadn't fucked a fireman. Like, I hadn't mm. fucked a New York fireman yet. You know, so it was like, let's do this. You know, right. I did try. Was allergic, he was allergic to dogs. Yorker. So I was like, that's not, we can't, you can't come in, you know. But or but he, like, I could tell he was like a guy that wanted a family. And in my head, I'm like, maybe we'll hook up, maybe not. But if it gets down to it, which it didn't, mm -hmm. then this won't be my person. Right. Right. And that becomes part of the decision of like, oh, do I go on that second date? Do I go on that third date? Yeah. I do just think that like, you feel as a woman that you have to over explain yourself if you don't want kids or you have to like keep reminding somebody and or that people think you'll change your mind that's the thing I hear the most you know I, I never look at a person that says I want kids and say you'll change your mind <laughs> and I would like to all the time I'd be like yeah just you know have a little more fun with your life and then you'll change your mind but you did but I you, am, you actually did I did actually <laughs> did change my mind I thought I wanted kids now I don't really want them but I had been going out with a guy this summer and he knew all along I didn't want kids um I was very clear about that up front and he said some comment to me kind of recently he said like I'm I'm just gonna like get you pregnant blah blah, blah. and I was like oh was I not <laughs> did you think I was gonna oh you thought I was gonna change my mind right okay right. um no you're me kind of offensive without, my, without so my consent no. yeah you're yeah, right. saying that to a man <laughs> I'm just gonna get pregnant. Right. You'll see. You'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll yeah, be great. I was like, nice. the balls in the condom. He's like, I'm right. just gonna get you pregnant. You're like, I'm just gonna have an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be like, I dare you. I have two IUDs inside of me. Right. right. Try to knock them out. <laughs> yeah. You're, you have the Paragard. <laughs> Nothing's getting past the Paragard. <laughs> no. Okay. So now you guys, uh, everyone needs to go follow Girls Got to Eat podcast. Go. Um, get involved with their live shows. So much fun. I've been at many of them now. Yes. Uh, Girlsgotteat.com. You're going to 11 cities coming up. You guys have vibes only. Yes. yes. So we brought you some gifts. You brought Amazing. some gifts. Our this brand is, new shit. This is this just... Is hot off the... Yes. press. Our the, best. Yeah. The our, factory line. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what do you call it? Um, so, so vibes only. It's a premium line of sex toys, and we okay. have accoutrement. Um, we have, oh, I thought um, we brought... Sorry, I misspoke. I thought we what brought... What is accoutrement? We have lube. We have okay. flavored blowjob, which is the, the texture of lube, but it's for oral and it's vulva safe as well. So it's just like a drop or two and it makes it taste good. So we brought. Well, hold on. The, the, the taste when you put it on like a hot dog. Yeah, or do, the like, same. You same put, like mustard on a hot dog. Not as much as okay. mustard, but. Well, it depends on how, yeah, how much mustard. Well, you I'll want. let you taste. Dare take out your dick. I'll show I'm going to take <laughs> Jared, pull your hot dog out. All right, all right, turn on the cameras. Make sure. So we brought you these stuff. We can also send you Jordana. We've even new stuff, but um, we grab you this. It's our Gigi. It is our panty vibe clip, and it is um a panty clip vibe, and it's great if you are Amazing. also long distance. I know you guys do shows. You're on the road. So. Thank you. Love it. Um, you it I love the packaging. It's really cute. Thank Yay. you very much. And then Jared, we have our uh, fall flavor of pumpkin spice blow gel for pumpkin you. Spice. Pumpkin spice. Wow. Get a into PSL. The PSL for your DSL. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> love it. Oh my God! I, listen, basic women <laughs> That's the of thing. the world. This is PSL for your DSL. Do I, uh, you, you, I would put it on your finger, and not directly into your mouth. You can. Yeah, you like can. Like whipped cream. Hold yeah. on, let me. That's so okay. funny. You finished off with a little whipped cream. Could I put is this it, on a woman? Is it gluten? Yes, it's vulva safe. Gluten -free? It's vulva safe. Pumpkin spice pussy. I think it is gluten free. Don't, oh, yeah, sure. it's, Don't it's, quote it's me on It's gluten free. That. It's paraben free, sugar free. Okay, wow. Ashley, right. It feel. I feel like I should put on my Uggs. It's fall. <laughs> it Let Jordana fall. taste it. You gotta try and it. Jordana will yeah. send you some. This also. is great. Amazing. Now the panty clip. What? It, explain how that oh, works. Wow. So right. Yeah. 
It's a vibe. That is that is fall in a in a bottle. In a bottle. Fall on a blowjob. Fall on a ball. I let you know. Mix it up. Put it on his balls. Seasonal blow. The seasonal blowjob. Fall on a ball. We like to say fallatio. Fallatio, love that, love it. So the, um, the panty clip, it's got actually, a. Actually, re- that's so funny. I already came up with this. It's been in our new. You know, you're on the group chat. Randy, you're this on the was slack. the marketing campaign. This was the meme that went up. Literally, today. I remember when I came up with it. I told everybody. <laughs> Randy, I was like, "That's so funny." Another you up exclusive. Uh, it's got this great magnet, and you just kind of clip it in your panties, so the like the you know the whole thing will vibrate. It's a small petite toy cool. but it hits you know your clit and it vibrates and it's got the clips to your panties you'll you'll see and there's a manual in there so too. you could wear oh, it yeah. and then yeah. the, date night. whoever you're with could be on an app we have an app so you go to the app and you like you, they might be out control. with their girlfriends and they're like let me get you yes, yes. So you can control it there's the, our app is you know available in the app store and there's a long distance control so mm. it's i mean it can be from like you know across the street or across the world but someone can control it and it's just like a fun thing especially for long distance couples yeah so basically you would send and um, your husband a code and he could control it. Oh, very cool. Quick, easy. They're all Bluetooth connected. This yeah. is great. Awesome. Listen, I, yeah, I'm just thinking of like all the people that, you, you know, what if someone loved this so much that like took it out? They're like, I'm going to put it on my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. Like this? the hot sauce. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> over your this purse. is our yeah. very first, they're all going to be Volvo Safe going forward, but this is the first Volvo Safe formula. So I'm just like dying thinking about Jared being like, open up. <laughs> and you're just like ready to dive in. Let me put some pumpkin spice in my clam. <laughs> My clam? <laughs> what do you mean? Clam flavor. Oh, my God. Clam, clam is no. a nice way to say vagina. Yeah, it's fishy. Uh, yeah, so come on. Yeah. Let me throw some uh Well, thank you, guys. Starbies. If you're watching the YouTube, you can see it right here. Yeah, right here. And where, do they, where do they go to find them? The Vibesonly.com. Vibesonly.com. Girlsgetty.com, vibesonly.com. Yeah. And we give these away at the shows. Jared, you've seen. I've seen. I've seen that, you know, it's 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 You guys are like wonderful. Oprah, but instead of cars. Yeah, you, we, you have t- a, we have talent shows. Loop, we have dance-offs. Jared comes out at our show with, oh, I don't even know, one of the cameramen's like giant tripod carrying no, case. Ashley was saying that they, <laughs> she needs an extra large vibrator at the beginning of the show. Big vagina? Big vagina. Is that curve? <laughs> <laughs> curve? <laughs> Huge <laughs> vagina. <beach. laughs> Zoom in on any photo of me in leggings and you'll right, see Right, you'll see. <laughs> that's a, that's a Alaskan king crab down there. So now I... <laughs> I I come out and then like my entrance under the show I was like and I found this huge like bag okay. and I was like look at vibes only has it has your extra large vibrator and I brought it out like it was a case like it looked like a pool cue that you would screw together a suitcase yeah, yeah. it was like a huge suitcase yeah oh my god so yeah. we had fun so it's I've been great. using that, that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's the Ashley. It was we, as we big as a leaf blower. We call that the Jared now, yeah. actually. We call that the, the Alaskan King crab. The Alaskan <laughs> King crab. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Thank you well, guys. Thank, thank you so much for having us. This was such a fun episode. So much Amazing fun. As Everyone always. go follow. Go, go, go. And Girls go Gotta Eat. Girls anywhere you get your podcasts, of yeah. course. Yeah. And uh, that's it. We solved dating again. We did it. We did it in front of us. And yeah. we'll be back on Wednesday. Boom. The U Up Podcast is produced by Jorge Morales Pico, Sean Kilby, and Candice Maniga. Editing by Jorge Morales Pico and Shannon Sassone. Social media by Candice Maniga. Guest booking by Ali Friedlander. Be sure to follow at u.up.podcast on Instagram and send us your emails to uup at betches.com. Betches.